This morning, our SoCal Spotlight shines a light on the city of Whittier. It's steeped in history with some of the oldest buildings in California. Our Sheba Turk is live at the Bailey House, the oldest remaining building in Whittier. Good morning, Sheba. Good morning, ladies. That's right. We're inside a historic site. I've been telling you all morning long that Whittier was founded by Quakers. And one of the Quakers who founded this town, this is the house he lived in. It's called Bailey House now, but the name has changed many times over the years. Leanne Tyler is one of the docents with this house, and she's here to tell us more about it and show us around. This is a very important site for the city. It is. It was the first home in the city of Whittier, um, built in 1887. Actually, it was begun much earlier than that in 1868, so it's been around a while. Definitely. And tell us more about Jonathan Bailey, the man who lived here in this house with his wife, Rebecca. Well, they grew up uh, largely in Ohio, but they moved out here for her health. And um, he was a uh, real estate agent in Los Angeles and was a tap tapped by Aquila Pickering to start this town. At age 68, he came out here to the middle of nowhere. Wow. And we've been talking all morning long about how this town was founded by Quakers. How did that come up with the ideology of this town founding? Being founded? Well, they thought it would be nice to have a town of their own. The Quakers had been persecuted. And um, it was a gorgeous place to, to start a town because they could see the ocean from here. There were no other buildings around. So... Um, it was just a great place to do that. Nice. And tell us some of the things we're looking at. What are the things preserved in this home that are important? Well, you've seen the quilt made by Rebecca P uh, Bailey, and she was um, a very fine seamstress. You've seen the original bathtub, which drained out to the garden, and um, because she had loads of plants and she knew all the uh, Latin names of the plants. And um, uh, we were in her sitting room. Uh, from where she could look out at it, all her plants. Mm -hmm. You see the original um, looking stove. Um, it was from that era. And uh, the wooden sink also, which is, um, it, we found it under the house. And so we believe that wood sink is the original. This is really cool. What's nice about being in a space like this is it gives you a sense of what life was like back then in the early 1900s. Yes, definitely. Very different from today. I was showing everyone the wagon outside earlier. Yes, yes. It, it's it's pretty amazing. When As soon as you walk in the house, you feel like you've walked back 100 years. Yeah, you really do. Give us. You had some really cool stories about how they lived back then, how hard it was to do simple things like just go get water for the day. Definitely. Um, we're heading into the dining room now, and there's a... Uh, picture of the house on the wall that has uh, pepper trees in front of it and when Rebecca would need help in the kitchen Jonathan would put a sheet up on the tree and here their daughter uh, daughter-in-law and son could see it from Los Angeles mm -hmm. and um, if the sheet was on the tree they knew that mother Rebecca needed help entertaining and they loved to do that so they would come on out and help her that's really cool. Parents always know how to get the kids to help even before the cell phone days, right? They do. <laughs> they do. What do you hope people learn when they come to see a house like this? I just hope they learn just what this area was like before um, people were settled here. Mm -hmm. And also just to give them an idea how hard life was then yeah. and what those pioneers uh, really had to go through. Yeah, this gives you a really good sense of that early life. So, ladies, we're going to continue to show you around Whittier this morning, and you can come take a tour of the Bailey House yourself. I'll send it back over to you guys. <laughs> I love that. So fascinating. Shiva, thank you. Let's go now to Paul. With